Fire! Man's great equalizer. So, what's the, um, what's the, like, thing to do here? Other than obviously go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. Well, I'm up for pretty much whatever, so... Hey, where does that old woman live? Oh, you mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. She's dead. What? Yep, killed over three days ago. It was all over the news. Local news, anyway. Oldest living resident. Oh, that's sort of a bummer. Yeah, well, we all gotta go sometime. In her case, later than sooner. And to answer your previous question, Jonas, the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. And sometimes play truth or slap. Yeah, let's play that. We can inaugurate Jonas. Ease him into the night's festivities. Truth or slap? What's that? We used to call it hippo, until we got tired of people asking, why is it called hippo? Because you get to yell, you're a dirty hippo, before you slap someone. You get asked a question. You have to tell the truth, but if somebody can prove that you lied, the accuser gets to slap you. It's a good, uh, getting to know somebody game. Yeah, fun. An excuse to hit run. Hey, I'm the truthiest truth, whoever All truth, right, let's uh, just get on with it. Okay, so, first, we're I'll gonna- I'll start. Ren. Uh-huh. Come on, fess up. You want to go out with Nona, right? Clarissa. Alex, where are you going? Yeah, we just got started. Oh, just, you know, looking around. We're not going to play until you come back. Hey, where's this gate go to? Uh, kitten, we're playing a game here. Be social and come play. Enough stalling. I know you want to sample the goods, now no, just face it. I mean, I, I, I like her as a friend, right? That's... I just like her as a friend. That's... that's all. She's... Oh, liar! Liar! He's lying! He totally likes her! What? Alex, come on, what are you doing? <laughs> I... He, you told me you liked her. Why do you even try to cover... You knew I knew. I'm standing right here. Because I asked you to be cool about it, and now you're being like... Whatever the complete opposite of cool is. Hot! But in a bad way. All right, Alex, you get first blood. Slap him like he stole something. I can't believe this is happening. Eh, you've suffered enough. Oh, thanks. So, Alex's turn? Oh, great, here we go. What's uh, your- Uh, Jonas. <laughs> yeah? Tell the truth. How do you really feel about your dad marrying my mom and the fact that we're now de facto organ donors? Well, unless you turn out to be crazier than you look. That'd be hard. I think it's fine. Only known her one night and is already fine with it. What a guy. Is it my question now, then? Yep. Okay, Clarissa, um, last person you made out with. Oh, um, uh, maybe something else. Or, yeah, maybe who's the last person you, uh, hugged and said? Ah, uh, great. This should be good. Oh, will you all relax? I've made out with people since... God. Anyways, um, that would have to be Ryan Fisher, two weeks ago in Iggy's I death. knew it. Yeah, well, he was there, and I was tired. Clarissa's turn now. Alex, you got a new brother. Pretty exciting. I'm sure Jonas is excited, or maybe... Excited isn't the right word. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just everything, you know? Unsure. It's a lot to take in and Is there, like, a question coming, or what? I'm just saying what Jonas is already thinking. That statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably gonna get divorced again. And the fact is, your mom divorced your dad. So let's put his mind at ease and hear why. Okay, uh, just get to whatever point this is getting to. The point is, why'd your parents get a divorce? Just so Jonas can hear it from you. Clarissa, I don't really care why they got a divorce. Just that Alex's mom is happy now. You know why. Michael, died and it broke everything and they couldn't handle it. The end. Well, now you know, Jonas. Don't die and everything will be fine. Okay, Clarissa, you- What? You know, guys, honestly, I think I'm pretty much ready to do anything else besides this game. Wait, let's- let's not stop like this. We should- Game's like... over, Ren. I won. And to celebrate, I'm gonna sit on the beach and drink and maybe, if I'm feeling spicy, even take a nap. <laughs>
Maybe we could And get that's exactly what Nona's gonna do too. Oh my god, you are annoying. This isn't me being annoying, this is me being tired. There's a difference. Cheese! If you guys in your scavenger hunt or playing Ring Around the Rosie happen to find anything more interesting than a slowly dying starfish, you be sure to just let me know. Super. <sighs> Whatever. Well, I want to inaugurate this bitch by checking out the caves. Nona, want to come? Uh, I mean, I would. I'm but... very clingy, Ren. <sighs> Fine. Jonas, you're a strapping young lad. Help boost me over the fence. The cave's just, uh, yonder. And I guess you expect me to just jump over after? Well, like I said, you're a strapping young lad. Okay, come on. Where are you from again? It's a small town near North Valley. Oh, yeah. Is it nice? If you like bars on the windows. Alex, you want to check out the caves, or...? Yeah, let's do it. Boost me up? Yeah, come on. Come on, <laughs> I'll push you over. Oh, oh, I forgot. We never Whenever talked about drawing. Whenever you're ready. Oh, what, so, your date? So, the cave. What's your bets? On a scale of 1 to 10, how weird's it gonna be? It's Ren, so definitely 10. He gets excited easily, but he has the concentration of a goldfish. The fact that he keeps demanding we see it must mean something. <laughs> All right. Hey, Chris seems to be her normal annoying self. Sorry about that. Yeah, Ren, about Nona. Yeah, what the hell was up with you and the whole me liking her thing during the game? I mean, okay, fine, fun is fun. But I'm trying to get in with this girl, and it was as if you liked making me look like an idiot. I'm sorry. I am. I, I was just trying to have fun. I didn't know you would take it so seriously. Well, I am. I mean, I do, but it's fine. I'll just have to work the old Ren charm even stronger now. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. I heard that. Now, who's ready to have their minds blown? If you don't mean that literally. Me, me, me. Oh, wait. Actually, I almost forgot. Gonna take a little magic trip to Cupcake Town. Those look like brownies. Magic? What does that mean? It means they're enhanced with certain qualities. Hmm. Well, maybe just don't eat too much. No promises. Hmm. Delicious. Okay, so see these little piles of rocks? The kids before us always leave them here so you know where to try and tune in the signals. So you're going to want to stand basically right around here. And just tune the dial left or right until you start hearing some weirdness. How will we know when it's... even cooler than I thought it would be. This is insane. How, how is this, how can this be possible? Maybe the tuning's like unblocking a weather balloon or something? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Well, it's just crazy then, cause I don't know. If you move around, it kind of changes too, I think. Like, over at this pile. Here, come over here and try it. This is so cool. I know! Clarissa and Nona should see this, right? I mean, I know it's like weird with you guys or whatever for some reason, but they, they're fine where they are. Okay, just what is Clarissa's issue with you two? The problem is that she's a monster who can't help monstering out on everybody. Clarissa dated her brother Mike for a little while way back when. Whatever, she never liked me, not even then. I was always the little sister who got in the way, who she had to climb in through windows to sneak around. Clarissa's the kind of person who doesn't feel full unless she's pissed at somebody, so... 
The brownies are kicking in. Did that make sense? Kind of. I got it. Okay, good. Now, there's... Uh, it sounds so... Yeah, it sounds... Uh... It's freaking me out a little. Yeah. Wait, what was that? There's like... This is gonna sound stupid, but there's like something in here. Famous last words. Famous... Uh, yeah, what is that? I'm sure there is something in there. Like... A giant rabies-filled bat, or a maniac who wears mannequin wigs. Or it kind of looks like a pool or something. Like a freshwater one, maybe. Let's check it out. It's not that far in. If it's a pool, that'd be cool. I, um, didn't mean that to rhyme. <laughs> cool pool. Fortune favors the bold. <laughs> Wait a minute! Jonas! Well, I am going to just rest against here. Because I think, shh, I think I mismeasured the magic. 